on my channel I've got quite a bit of vintage audio but I've not actually done anything on the components that I use every day as my main hi-fi um, so I've got here a nice Pioneer amp um, it's model SX727 um, pretty much will allow me to put everything I want to put run through um, so I can connect everything I need to um, I use a Revox B77 and this is a uh, what they would call a four track stereo and it's um, does the two main speeds that I have lots of tapes on so seven and a half inches and three and three quarter inches per second I said it is um, four track stereo so I can pretty much play um, your standard pre-recorded uh, tapes um, the laser disc player that's what I use as a CD player I've got about 100 or so laser discs but this one you can um, set it into a uh, direct CD mode um, and then of course it only opens the smaller tray I've always liked the sound of this um, through laser discs and CD so um, if I want to watch a laser disc or anything I just have to connect the uh, S video lead up to a television or something but I, I tend to use it as just a CD player more than anything else. Um, you play CDs, I use it for CDs more than laser discs. Although, as I say, I've got about a hundred laser discs, so it's nice to be able to um, watch the uh, odd film on it if I need to. So that's what I'm using as my um, CD player. Um, the record player, um, which I have done a little video on. With another turntable but it's a sharp i've got i was lucky enough to find this one um or two of these actually boxed um they the little rubber pips have perished but other than that it's fine the um cartridge i'm using on this one um so I'm do, let's have a look I can't quite remember to put the light on the cartridge i'm using is a sure uh if we can get it on that there we go that's the cartridge i have got a 78 stylus for it and i use a i suppose really with 78s i use um a gold ring um turntable i've got which i can unscrew this head shell from and just put into there so but i keep the 78 stylus in here so i know where it is the only reason i really i mean it's a quartz lock turntable but the reason I use this probably more than some of the other turntables I've got is because you have direct um, track access. So uh, let me put this on to phono. Um, probably demonstrate that. So say you want to play track three, it's as simple as just going three and play. And usually, it's not always 100%, but Usually it will find the third track. Um, yeah, it's playing the third track. There is actually a small uh, intro on that groove. And these all blend into each other. So there's no actual pause other than the... Um, so if you, you wanted to skip another one, um, you take it off that. Skip one more. And you'll see it'll drop it on the next band. There we go. Yeah, I just find that more convenient sometimes um, to operate than than um, trying to aim it, you know, manually. Um, and of course, you can cue it up and everything. So it just seems to be quite a handy thing um, to operate. So it's really the only reason it's there. Um, in the setup, it's just it's uh, quite easy to operate. Um, as I say, the amp does everything I need to. Let's have a look at the speakers. Um, the speakers aren't anything special. They actually, where they are in this room, they need to go on stands. And I haven't managed to sort any stands out yet. But they're just two-way speakers. Denon two-way speakers, bookshelf speakers. I so said they really want to go up in a couple of stands. I've just got them either side of the fireplace here. 
No, I've taken that off. I'm not going to get that on now. Am I? There we are. <clears throat> uh, model number. So let me turn it around. Yeah, there we go. As I say, they want to go. I've got them either side of this fireplace, but they they just want to be lifted up a bit. So, I'm in the process of getting some speaker stands for those. But yeah, that's the sort of main, um, my main sort of hi-fi really. Um, nothing to play cassettes on because usually when I play a cassette, I've got under the piano here, which comes out sometimes, is one of those um, Century B and O Century. I think the B and O Century. Anyway, that's got pretty much everything I need for playing cassettes. Um, so yeah, that's the go-to machine if I'm playing, if you know, seriously playing cassettes and, and enjoy that. As I say, on my channel, you'll have seen all the other um, pieces of audio that I've got. But yeah, this is the sort of stuff that I keep set up every day if I just want to come in here and listen to something. Um, so yeah, I don't think it's... Nothing in here is particularly expensive. Yes, the Revox, those Revoxes are are expensive and the laser disc has gone expensive but when i had all this stuff um none of this was particularly expensive um if we're going back now about 20 years ago which a lot of this does go back i mean i remember getting the turntable like this sometime in the early 2000s this was fairly recently but i got it for a good price in its original box and everything and the laser disc player again got a long time ago when nobody was really interested in them so yeah um it's pretty much performs and plays back most of the formats that i've got as i say apart from cassettes but that's what the bno is for um but yeah so i just thought you might find that the uh interesting and it answers a few questions i've had over the years but yeah i don't think i have a particularly high-end hi-fi setup but it's not too bad it does everything and, and sounds good enough for what I need anyway.